Hi, I'm Duke. And I'm Lola. And this is Bossa Nova Life. Today we are at Time Traveler's Antique Store in Springfield, <laughs> Oregon. We are looking for treasure. We will probably find some. Mm -hmm. I suspect Lola will always find some. Hopefully I'll find something. We're, we're going to check it out here and then we're going to head down to another antique store real quick. And that'll be our day. So hopefully we can do all this for under $100. We're, we're good at spending money. We'll so out. we'll see. Check it out. You going inside? Oh, thank you. Bringing more stuff in as we speak. Is it still here, baby? Yeah, this is my swimsuit. And it even has a little neck scarf on She's that. been lusting after the swimsuit for like a month I straight. I have, and I keep convincing myself that I can't afford it, but really want it. 125 dollars. But you know what? But it is mint condition find, and it is early 60s. When you find something that fits you, you should just get it. That's right. You should just get it. Treat yourself. Just put it on a credit card, baby. Treat and yourself. Make it happen. <laughs> oh, man. I see what you did there. I see it. It's a cool sculpture. I like it. I like it. I don't think yeah. we have room for it anywhere. No. There's always the question, where would yeah, I put where that? Mm-hmm. And I like that tray back there. I was just going around to look at that. I, this, knew, I knew you were. This we have room this for. This girl likes bowls and trays. And it's wood. I like wood. Hi there. Oh, they have the the little skewers. I love them. On guard. Them. On guard, indeed. And that folds up, right? So we do fondue at our house quite a bit. This would, those would it's be It's not nice. really fondue. This is more like olives and sausages. Sausage. Let's take a little look to see if this. So look at that. Think of all the amazing things I could put on this tray. And there's a little hot plate. You don't have enough trays, clearly. Ooh, and it's a good deal. He said sarcastically. It's a folding snack server. Oh, I know what it and is. it's only $24. Mm -hmm. And it's pretty. It's pretty. And this is gonna come home with us. Is it? Look at that. Okay. Okay. It's coming home with us. All right. First score of the day. <laughs> oh wow! It even has the lamp. 1950s telephone gossip chair with the lamp. 125. That is actually amazing. I have nowhere to put it. Not vintage in any way, but oh my God, the amount of hours I spent in high school playing that board game right there. Always gotta check out the Hawaiian shirts. Always got to check them. Modern, modern, modern bar cloth, barefoot paradise. But the downside is it's got that word small on it. And I don't know if you've seen this before. I'm not small, so unfortunately, this awesome shirt, it's gonna have to stay here on the rack. Oh, Manny. Wow, I do not know if I have the room for this in my house. But for $32 mid-century. I want that. I want that. He says, yeah, but I'm going to be retired in a few years. You could be making a lot more. I don't need a magazine rack, but I kind of suddenly want a magazine rack. This is the problem with vintage shopping. You find things. I know. I need that. I know. We don't need it. I do need it. So just say it. <laughs> I don't think I need this, but I really like it. And I think this would be good, like, give people a gift. A nice little gift basket. How also, many times have I said it's nothing but bowls and trays with you? I, I love them. They're useful and beautiful. <laughs> um, also, my mom has um, pink, 50s pink countertops in her bathroom. And I don't think she knows it yet, but she needs a lot of this kind of stuff to just <laughs> Are you going to get that for your mom? I'm thinking about it. Mm -hmm. I think it's kind of pretty. The way she can do her face. 
She got it from her mama. <laughs> oh my. Mm. It's only 21? That's a way better deal than that Albany store we were at yesterday. It's like half as much and it actually still has all the gold on it. Yeah. It doesn't, I mean, it's not our, it doesn't match what we have. I like this one. Do you like that? Dishes that you can get. Bowls. Oh my gosh. Trays. So freaking cute. Things. And look, at, you can put a dip in there. Oh, I know what goes in there. You have like how many it's other, how many chip and dip sets do you have? I have Lola? a lot. But I like fire king. Fire king's good. Oh, this is tight. Like enclosed. I usually see these all separate. I like it. What is this? Student lamp. Nickel over brass. Oh wow, so this would be where the pens would go, right? No, what is that? I don't know. If one of you know what that is, let me know. That is kind of a cool thing. Look. Twenty dollars. I don't think these are vintage though. I'm pretty sure these were like from a store or something like that, but they are very mid-century esque. So I kind of like them. Okay, I found something. Oh no. For Olive. It's not for me, it's for Olive. Oh. So come take a look. Those plastic plates? No. It's this little folding cart that we can have outside to put our bar stuff on. <sighs> and it folds. Oh my. And it's the perfect color. And it's not too expensive. How much? How how expensive is it not too expensive, Lola? Only forty five dollars. Forty five dollars. Forty five dollars, and it's freaking adorable, and it folds up. So you got the little napkin rings. You can get those too. Well, oh, this bake light. I'm more interested in this for now. I know. You know my ADD is already kicking in. Yes, true. So seventeen dollars, and they're loose. So that totally, was correct. It totally matches all of. If you want to get that, I will concur. Okay. I will go with you on this one. Okay. We'll go on this journey together. Thank you, dude. Because that would actually be pretty freaking dope. Oh, wow. It folds this way. And then think if we get a, I'm so um, interested. ice bucket. We've got to get this home and figure out how it works. Yes. What is this? Somebody's homemade, homemade mid-century thing. <laughs> I'm not sure if I'm on board with it. I'm, I'm going to say no. But if it was, was like metal, it would be coming home with me, like right now. These are the types of things I have to keep Lola away from because if she sees them, they come home with us and then they fill cupboards and cupboards and cupboards with so many bowls. What? I've never seen one where they have like one of each type of cup, but none, like not a complete set. Oh my god, if they had like four of these and four of these and all of that, I'd be all about it with the ice. <sighs> It'd be dope, but instead. Ah. There we go. We always need a blue hat. Yes. Well. So cool western wear room. Duke needs a blue hat. Maybe a seafoam green hat. Seafoam green. That's a look. That's a look. I just don't know. I just don't know. Look at the size of them. Those are some of the largest belt buckles I have literally ever seen. <laughs> Very interesting. These are not tiki shirts. I like the cream and These sugar. These are Western. Western. Oh, Western meets tiki. I don't think it's Western. I'm not sure what it is. It's like, is it? Oh, Palmer. I thought it was leather, it's, but it's actually like... No, it's hammered copper. Hammered copper. It's Art Nouveau, 1920s. 1920s. Yeah. Oh, wow. How much? Oh, two ninety-five. Okay, huh. that makes more sense. I thought it literally was saying 95 bucks. I'm like, that's kind of crazy. These are always magnificent. Just the sheer amount of carving and artwork that goes into these. Just incredible. Wow, 
And uh, I personally would put this inside of one of my home tiki bars if I had a spare five hundred dollars and the room for it, which I do not. We're slowly, we are slowly approaching what they keep referring to as the 60s, 70s room. It's coming up. We're getting there. As you can tell from all of this stuff, AKA, it's about 25% mid-century modern. I do like these little teak trays. Look at these. No, you like trays? Or I've never heard that before, Lola. I would serve things on here. Really? <laughs> Do you like to have people over and serve things on trays? I do. Oh my I gosh. had no idea. I could make deviled eggs and put them in here. You could make little tiny oh, ice cubes. Um, oh, Jesus. Deep. That is actually impressive. I could take deviled eggs everywhere. Yes. Everywhere. You could be the deviled egg queen. This is, um, yeah. It's a halter dress. It's got some chrysanthemums on it. Chrysanthemum. 1970s. Of course. Very 70s. But, uh, oh, yeah. Good luck. Yeah. Look. $675. What now? It's signed by Mackay. It's from 1990. It's got triple certification in the back. It's pretty dope. And these nagels are just fantastic. Even the Led Zeppelin mirror. I mean, I'm more of the, the 50, 60s guy, yeah. but I appreciate this because I grew up with all this. Yeah. I used to sell these yeah. when I worked in electronics out of high school. <laughs> I love these. That's why I don't have like a really, this one's 100, I think this one's The old auto one. reverse, that was when you're like, oh my gosh, it's I don't really have to get up stuff. anymore yeah. <laughs> and the cassette keeps playing, what? And that's why I love this one too, is that you can still make mixtapes on it. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah. if you made a mixtape today, you'd have to make the mixtape. Then you'd have to get them a cassette player. The crazy part, though, <laughs> is that like in like back in the day, this was what you would get at like a Walgreens or a Payless. Yes, this brand right here. Yes, and now, Mungo. yeah, now like it was the same. It was, it was Mungo Reward, uh Panasonic and Sanyo and all those used yeah. to make those. And if you went to like the the, the good store, you'd get you know. Penis. Um, who am I thinking of? Uh, 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 I might just want to completely blank. We have in here is we have people that are impulse buying things because they have to have it right then and there because it gave them a look and feel. You know, yes. they give, give them a feel. Is this your first secondhand store? Uh, mine, yeah. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> I bought it just to, you know, because I like coming here. And on my lunch break, I heard they were closing. I came to just actually just buy a bunch of stuff. And then I snapped into it. I was the prophet all of a sudden. And I'm like, show me your P&Ls. And I'm like, yeah, 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 yeah. Your mom. Is that your, is your mom the white haired lady? Yeah. She's super sweet. Yeah. I am very surprised. Lola has not purchased this set yet. It's been here for a couple months. I figured she'd be all about it, but apparently I was wrong. You never know. You're, get, you're getting out of here yeah. for seventy-seven fifty, and you got the cart. That sounds like fun. You got the cart, and you're getting out of here for seventy-seven fifty. I, I got the cart. I'm very excited about the cart. And a couple this is why. Things. This is why we come here. Yes. That's what's this up. This is why we come here. We find great stuff. We well, probably don't. Lola finds great stuff. None of the dresses fit you? No. I was really sad about the pink one. Uh, but, eh. There's your change, and thank you. You win some, you lose. So where are we at now, Lola? We are at the Vintage Mall Mercantile in Springfield. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, and we like this one. This is a great spot. It is. It's a little bit smaller than the last one, but you never know what you're going to find. That is the thrill of the hunt. We found our seahorse here. That's <gasps> true. The seahorse <laughs> we found here. The old aluminum cups, which are really, really cool, especially if you want to get Alzheimer's from drinking things out of aluminum. But no, seriously, if you're, if you're only using them from time to time, they're probably perfectly harmless. And the whole set is five dollars. So, Duke, I found these. Wow. I don't need them. Those are fifties, aren't they? But they're they're, they're super just like cool. the green one you have. 
They are. Oh, these are 1960s? 1960s. Amazing. <laughs> mid-century. Not mid-century modern, but mid-century. But I like, I like a good chicken. Do you like these? Those are interesting. I've what always liked these, for? but I, they weren't that amazing. But for $5 for the aluminum set, I yeah. was like, aluminum okay. cups. Okay. They could go in. Olive. Exactly. I'm making lots of drinks in olive. Cool. I think we need pig corn holders. <laughs> I don't know when these are from. Probably not that long ago, but they look like 80s to me. They're for sure. super fun. They're definitely Chotskys. They're what well, you could eat. Your, it, they're useful. They're useful. Makes you think of pork when you're eating your pork. Oh, sorry. I was expecting. They're not lemons or limes. They're citrus, and okay. it says. So cute. Oh my god. If they were lemons, I'd be buying that in a second. But you're gonna let it you stay? I'm gonna let it stay. I'm looking for that perfect, perfect mixer for limes my French or 75s. lemons. to be all about it. Yeah, mostly lemons. Yeah. Limes are all case to a vintage did. pillow. Yeah, um, this matches what we already have. I think it's. What did you mean by. Oh no. I just know you got some. Oh no. I saw it. I'm like, she's kidding. Come take a look at this. Come follow me. Ooh, that one's cool. I like it. It's kind of tropical. It's still too big. I don't know. I want something I else. We came, we saw. We came, we saw. We scored we a couple things. little things. Yeah, we bought stuff. We'll go home and we'll check this all out. Yeah. We're back. Hmm. Talk about happy, happy hunting. So sometimes you find a lot and sometimes you find a little. And this was kind of a, a little time, but we actually yeah. found some stuff that I'm super excited about. Not a ton of stuff, a little so, bit of stuff. So well, strong on the ways of trying to spend money that you don't really, shouldn't really be spending. You found your little chickens. <laughs> so I have a weird thing. I like kind of clean lines, mid-century on a lot of stuff, but I'll be honest, my kitchen and my bathroom go, Go lean towards some kitsch. There's a little some kitsch. Mid century not, kitsch. Uh, there's no like no, there's not, not a lot. ton. Like I don't have it's not a ton. But it there's some cute stuff. There's none of that, you know, that that, that whitewash stuff, you know, I can't stand. I That's not mid century at all. What is that? That's uh, shabby chic. Oh dear. That's not kitsch. Baby no, uh, so, I saw remember the first time you, you got one of these. It's not like you're a, 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 a chicken lady who's into a, a ton of chickens and like the chicken lady. Red and, uh, red and white no. like gingham stuff or whatever that is no that, but, yeah. I, but uh, these I are like cool. the style i got another one that's kind of the same style yeah. kind of a feathery looking chickens and so i found these and i thought that they'd look really good so you will see them in one of our food videos coming up we'll help them but i like them i know they're good. really cute then they can be like fighting or they can be kissing look at there's a lot of love happening whatever uh, it feels politically incorrect <laughs> to have fighting chickens. We can eat chickens, we can chop them up. They are fighting, fighting. They cannot fight them. I do that not condone that. Unacceptable. I don't condone Mo ah. Moving right along, moving right along. And then, shocker of all shocks. You saw this in the video. We got a tray. I love trays. And it trays. is pretty cool because it folds up. I, 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 I appreciated that. This is packable. I could take this anywhere. I could take this anywhere. <gasps> you know, or Super Bowl, <gasps> Disneyland. Yeah. Camping. So it's... It just covers all the bases. I believe it's teak. Where does it say it's made? Japan. Oh. Well, then it is 60s or 70s. It's quality woodenware from Japan. Gale and Craft. Nippon. I'll be honest. I don't know a lot about, like, the name brands. But I like that it folds. I like that it has a hot plate here. So you can pull something off, sit it here, have your little accoutrement. Accoutrement. Out. And, so you could get like um, a little, maybe you could get like things to dip into cheese and then get your hot cheese in the middle, almost like a little little fondue little area. Fondue mm -hmm. Little fondue action. Fondue That's what action. I'm thinking. That's you got an awesome little. Yes. So you guys have saw our last thrifting video when I 
got a pillow. I got another pink pillow. Pink doesn't necessarily go in this room, even though I love the pink and the turquoise together. I'm trying to figure out where this is going to go. I think it goes well. I'm not even like, I mean, like, I get it. I, I see where you're going with it. Yeah. Pink and turquoise. You can't see the turquoise cute. pillow because it's out of the shot right now, but mm -hmm. they go together. Yeah, they go well. So, yeah, I found another one. Once you, I love textiles, vintage textiles. This is satin, so it's pretty basic, but some of those vintage, like, tablecloths and linens, you feel them, and you feel the lives that have passed before you, and you get to be part oh, of that. You can feel the love that was put into those, and those were things that had to be taken care of a certain these, way. These fry my brains. When I see these, there's some weird stitching thing going on or something. I don't know how they achieved that. Magic. When I look on the back of it, it doesn't appear to be any stitching, so I don't know how they got They're to stitching. So hold their... It's an interesting... I like it. I prefer to purchase things like this, because I don't have the patience to figure it out. Agreed. And this, which you can already see... I'm spinning it around, you can hear the clunky clunky sounds. It, like, folds up... What? Like and that was actually pretty impressive. It folds up into... Which way does it go? This way. It's pretty crazy. It folds up like this. I don't know how it goes. Yeah. Anyways, you can see it. And it will fold up into our 1975 Apache trailer. It's going to go in olive. Olive. It is going to be our drink cart for right outside the door. As one needs when you're camping. When we're camping. So that's the only way one enjoys camping. I mean... <laughs> Not true. There's the fire. If someone the added doors. this to the top... But yeah, that it's is 100% 70s. It is very 70s. I appreciate the shelf paper. It. The shelf it's paper not mid-century modern, but it is pretty cool. I like it. Yeah. It goes with our little patchy camper, so we'll keep it. And so last but not least, uh, Lola got another amazing item Ooh, yeah. that uh, is not on the video. And so for the 25% of you that statistically have made it this far into the video, we're going to show you this thing behind us. So this... This lamp, and I'm gonna go behind the camera here and try to zoom in on it a little bit. And I'm gonna model it, like. I'll take some pictures. So of I it found this on Facebook Marketplace. I was, we were down in Sacramento, and a friend of ours uh, posted this on Facebook Marketplace, and I was like, oh my gosh, I need that. It's in, it's in my hometown. And so then I started thinking, um, what friend do I have who's in town who would understand my type of crazy? So I messaged our friend Wendy, who is crazy, just like me. I was there when this was happening. She wasn't just messaging Wendy. It was on, the chickens, on and on and on and on with a text messaging. There's some, there some organizing. And it was nonstop until she got her chalk lamp that she has been searching for for some time. If I could tilt it back so you could see well, no, the lady lift, better. Lift up. The Hawaiian lady is amazing. Forty dollars. It was forty dollars. Pretty freaking awesome because we see them in vintage stores all the time. They're a whole lot more than that. At least where we are. I know different parts of the country you find great things. People tell us all the time about their amazing finds. Well, where we're at, people know what they have, and they usually are selling it for a lot of money. So yeah. um, it's normally like a three hundred dollar lamp around so here. So we are pretty excited. Maybe one hundred and eighty if it was on sale somewhere. Yeah. So there you have it. Search the marketplace. The search goes on. Yeah. The search goes on. Thanks, guys, for watching. Have a lovely day. We'll see you again in another thirteen video.